Hello. It's pretty early in the morning, about six o'clock here in Roanoke. And I got some thoughts I wanted to share really quick. So I'm over here with Jojo at the dog park. Um, so about the Barbie movie. Isn't it really strange that as protective as a lot of these large studios are when it comes to their intellectual property, you know, we have, we at Honey Badger Radio have to be very careful about how much of something we show. You know, we have to make sure that our um, video clips are less than 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Otherwise, we're going to get hit with a copyright strike or a copyright claim. You know, we have to deal with all of this, uh, I don't want to call it censorship, but, you know, legal stuff, right? These barriers. And yet... Oh, and also, what's especially important is that people don't pirate their movies, right? Like, you're you're not, you're supposed to pay for the product. You're supposed to um, go to the theater. You're not supposed to record with a camera in the theater and then share that online. I mean, you can get in a lot of trouble for doing that, right? It's a big deal. Like the FBI is watching and everything. And yet, what's really interesting is the Barbie film despite its very misleading marketing which was which shows a bunch of goofy clips you know in the marketing itself the the true agenda of the film is essentially culminated in this speech at the end by America Ferrera about how hard it is to be a woman and how everything is so contradictory it's so and so on and there are clips on the internet of the entire speech which is at least like a minute or two minutes long Obviously done with a hand cam in a theater, so it's a pirated clip, okay? Absolutely illegal, according to our media overlords, and it's everywhere, and apparently nobody wants to get this taken down. There is, n there is no effort to do anything about it. Isn't that, isn't that weird? Isn't it interesting that the studios suddenly are okay with people, you know, sharing their content online just for this clip, which is the number one takeaway of the entire film and none of the other stuff about it being a, a doll. Uh-oh, JoJo's going. Um, nothing about it being a doll matters, that that's really the whole story. Anyway, I think it's just a really interesting, not a coincidence. Check out Sound of Freedom, guys. I thought it was great. That's what we need more of. All right. Talk to you later.